good morning to one and all present here welcome to yet another heritage club music uh, heritage center music club uh, joint program I request all of you to have a seat. Good morning to one and all present here. Uh, today we have yet another program, which is a joint collaboration between Heritage Center and Music Club. The Music Club, which was earlier called Katyayani Sangeeta Sabha. Am I right? Okay. Anyway. Uh, there are four or five wise men today who are going to walk us through the journey from 1966 uh, down to the present day. So I request all of them to come on stage. Professor Narayana Rao. <laughs> Professor Gopinath. <laughs> Professor Kolar. And Prof. T.T. Narendran. The panel will be moderated by Prof. Nagarajan. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning to everyone who has uh, come to attend this program. It's uh, such a pleasure and privilege to be in the company of uh, such stalwarts, um, retirees from IIT Madras, whose ranks I will be joining shortly. So another reason for me to be uh, pleased about this occasion. Um, I think uh, the one thing that they all share, which we will talk about, explore more here, is a passion not only for the academics that goes on on campus, but also the, the musical arts. And they are all connected to the, um, the music scene on campus in one way or the other. And um, uh, I will invite them to, to talk about that. And then we'll see where the conversation goes. You know, I hate to plan a panel right from the beginning. I think that uh, Based on what we hear from our distinguished panelists, we will um, um, take the conversation in many different directions. Uh, this will be for about one hour, so please stay with us for the duration. Um, so with that, what I would like to do is um, just go in turn and um, ask the panelists to perhaps talk a little bit about their IIT Madras days, their memories of um, the time they were at IIT Madras, and in particular, focus on um, that links to the music that was happening on campus. Uh, when did they get involved? How did they get involved? Um, what were their contributions, their interests? And um, so we'll, we'll just go around and, and perhaps each panelist can talk for maybe five minutes about that. And then we'll come back and have a, a conversation around that. So I will start with uh, Professor Narayan Rao. Please share your memories. A very good morning to all my friends here. Some of them I am seeing for the first time. 
some of them, I have seen them for a very long time. So let me begin at the very beginning of the music club, especially about the music club, because I would concentrate more on the matters of music club, how it was started, how it grew uh, to some extent, and uh, leave the growth, further growth of it to my successor here, Mr. Narendra has contributed a lot towards that, and Mr. Polar and uh, Mr. Gopinath, they have all contributed towards the growth. My role was more or less about the starting of the music club. I was in the campus till 1996. After that, I only read about music club, heard about music club and its activities. So to begin at the beginning, uh, the beginning of the music club was around 1970 because I myself joined in 1968. I came from Germany directly as an appointee in the electrical engineering department. And um, at the same time, uh, I think uh, Professor V.S. Raju came from Benares. Professor Raman came from Germany also at the same time. So two or three of us joined together and we were discussing about these things to start Something like chamber music, which was very common in those days in Germany, we used to have, some of all of us were from Germany at that time, Raman, Raju, myself, and we were all. So we were influenced by those chamber music and these things. So when we saw in the campus, there was no institution which was catering to the needs of music lovers, this thought came to our mind, why not start a music club? When we were talking about it, Another coincidence, it was that uh, my wife wanted to learn uh, Veena, Professor Raju's wife wanted to learn Veena, and we found a good teacher in uh, Nageshwaro, Mokapati Nageshwaro. I'm glad to meet his son today here. Where is he? <laughs> I'm glad to meet his son here. We have to acknowledge, if at all there is a music club today in IIT Madras campus, we owe it partly to his father. Uh, not only three, three or four of us, but his father was the main initiator of this idea. Why don't we start a music club here? That's how the growth of the music club started. And once we, the, the idea took some shape, we started distributing some pamphlets inside the campus, sent it to all departments, and to, we wanted to involve more of the student population also at that time. When we started then, some of the earlier faculty, because I was not the senior most faculty at that, I was the junior most faculty at that time in 1969, 68. Because you know IIT started, the faculty started here around uh, 59, I think. So there were already people who had some experience of a music club in the campus. Katyayani Sangeet Sabha, so it was called. Katyayani Sangeet Sabha. It uh, functioned about three or four years, I was told. And uh, somehow, for various reasons, it died a slow death. So in 69, when we came, there was no music club. There was nothing. If you had to listen to some concert, you had to go to the music academy or outside some of the sabhas. Within, we had no scope to listen to classical music. So thanks to Mr. Nageshwar Rao and our discussions, we start, said the music club will not only cater to Carnatic music, but Hindustani music, and even uh, Western classical music, if somewhere, but restrict it to classical music. That was the idea right from the beginning. And I am glad to see that we have stuck to that, to this very day. Only classical music as far as possible. And uh, light music, there are several organizations which cater to that. We didn't want to have much to do with the light music. So this is how uh, the origin of music club uh, uh, took place in this campus. And then we circulated these uh, pamphlets to the students and to the faculty members, got a list of people who are interested in starting a music club like this. And uh, then the usual formalities of farming the club was started. 
Professor Sampath was then the deputy director. Professor Ram Chandran was the director. Professor Sampath, and uh, as some of you might know, Professor Sampath was enthusiastic about anything new which he wanted to start. He would be the person who gets involved. So he encouraged us, and I, he was also in the electrical engineering department. You see, so we were uh, meeting quite often, Professor Sampath, and he fostered this idea. He gave us more uh, sort of administrative backup, so to say, to start a club. Like he said, we'll offer you CLT for any of these concerts, no problem. And to get the artists from outside, we'll provide you vehicle support and this thing. But financially, we cannot support a club like this. It has to be a private organization. So we had to fix up membership fees, student concessions for that, and all these things. So we got involved in that. Professor Raju became the joint secretary. I was the secretary. Professor Sampath was the president of the club. Raju became, and, uh, uh, I think, treasurer or so. And Raman was the secretary, at least joint secretary. Yeah, Raman, so, came Raman came later. OK. So that is how we worked out some membership fees. And we also promised at least two concerts per month we planned and of which both of them cannot be senior concerts. So we wanted to encourage the students and the youngsters also. So some junior concerts were also introduced. So senior concerts, junior concerts. And we used to organize these concerts in the, the Central Lecture Theater. And uh, even PA system was provided more or less free, because that came in the electric, under the electrical engineering department at that time. So through thanks to Professor Sampath and all of us in the electrical engineering department, we used to uh, get it practically free. Our nominal rates were charged for us. That's how we got going. I think the very first concert was, uh, there is some confusion in my mind. Ramanath Krishnan. Ramanath Krishnan. Uh, or I thought it was DK. Um, Ramanath Shuk Krishnan was first. Lalguri Jairam was the first. Lalguri Jairam. Because we had a very good contact to Lalguri Jairam at that time. Professor Venu Gopal was another interested person in the electrical engineering department. His brother was learning violin under um, Lalguri Jairam. So we could approach even Lalguri Jairam and directly, and we put always this idea that the students are our support, so student concession. They are also from every faculty, uh, musician, we got some concession, student concession, less than 50%. They used to charge us practically free. Many of them came free and gave their concerts here. So uh, Professor Narendra will tell you the list of uh, all kinds of musicians we could get and arrange concerts. So the music club had some initial problems, difficulty in arranging these uh, concerts, financial mostly, finance. But we struggled through that. And I think we were in the end successful in organizing not only senior concerts, but junior, only MS we could not get. Mm -hmm. All the other senior musicians, we were able to go and request them and get them here. So that's how it went on. And um, we did have uh, lecture demonstrations. Uh, Professor Nag uh, Nageshwar Rao gave some lecture demonstrations. And uh, the other organization, what is that? Uh, they go around on the country. I forget their name. Speak huh? Speak ah, speak make. Speak make people. We collaborated with them, and I think one or one or two concerts were arranged here inside the IIT Madras, thanks to Mr. Uh, I think I will uh, stop with that. Just giving you one small incident, which happened, which is in my memory, and uh, that's about the visit by the English cricket team. Yeah, cricket team. More about that, I will uh, leave it uh, some written matter. I will leave it with the Heritage Club. But just briefly, I want to tell you. Uh, you know, in those days, uh, Madras was a center where the interesting test matches used to be arranged. So the British team, the English team, was visiting Madras. And we had a concert that day here on a Sunday. We had a concert by Lalguri Jairam. Lalguri Jairam in concert it was. CLT was practically full. And in the afternoon, just before the concert or whatever, we get a call from 
that MCC, MCC, uh, saying that the captain of the English team, one Mr. Lewis, Lewis, wants, huh? Uh, he wants to come and listen to the music concert. <laughs> of course, it was not known. If we had announced it, the students would have filled the CLT much earlier, I think. But somehow the, he, we had to go and pick him up. And we went there. Not only Mr. Lewis, but he invited Patadi, who was the Indian captain also, to join him. So we had to bring both of them to the campus. And Professor Vijike Murthy helped us because he is the only one who had a car, I think, in our department. Institute vehicle was not available. So we rushed to Konemara Hotel and then we brought these two persons. And uh, Lewis, when he came in, the student crowd was already there to some extent. But they somehow sent the message to the hostels and more students poured in. I don't know, it was not the days of mobile phony and telephony and uh, how they got the message through, we don't know. But still a lot more students came and they all joined. Lewis stayed with us till about uh, half time, I think, till the interval because they had a reception in uh, Koturpuram. What is that? What's an anomaly? Oh, okay. huh? They had to go and attend the reception there. So halfway through they left and uh, um, Lewis really appreciated because he is himself, he was himself a musician, a violinist also at that I think. And he appreciated Algudi's violin concert very much. Only our Patadi was not very much impressed. Oh, his comment was, oh, this fellow plays very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think I will stop with that uh, remark. And uh, I should say, thanks to the efforts of Professor Narendran, who practically took over after I left the campus in 96, 97, I left. Uh, no, after that, you took over, I think. And for a long time, he has nurtured the music club. I think he has more to tell you about the growth aspects of the music club. And uh, I learned later that the present director, Professor Kamukoti, was then a student, PhD student. My was a member of the music club. And uh, I don't know whether he was present in that concert. <laughs> you no. should check with him <laughs> sometime. <laughs> but he came in much later. Much later. Yeah. Okay. So uh, now I hear he is also lending his support to the music club. I am sure the music club will continue to grow and prosper thanks to the support from all of you here in this. Please. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Professor Narendra. Uh, maybe just for the sake of continuity, should we hear from Professor Narendra? Or, or? They're, they're all, I, I actually heard you. Oh, okay, then so. Professor Gopina. Uh, good morning to everybody. I'm thankful to IIT Madras for inviting me today to be with this uh, uh, function. Now, I joined here in 1968, and uh, 1970, I left. Uh, one year, after one year stint in uh, the industry, HIL, Koraput, I came back to IIT Madras to do my PhD. So, at that time, uh, Professor uh, Narayan Rao and Ashwath Narayana pulled me to this uh, uh, music club and made me member. And prior to that, uh, I was an active member of uh, Kannada Sangha and also I was taking part in uh, Telugu uh, Karakram. So I was playing tabla for uh, both this. Uh, I had a basic uh, training, that's all. I'm not a big uh, tabla player. So that uh, interested me in uh, joining the uh, music club. And uh, now what uh, amused me in the music club at that time is uh, uh, tabla is a little different from uh, uh, Mradangam. And you cannot compare Mradang <laughs> tabla with Mradangam. Because this, while attending these uh, music programs, I found uh, the, uh, I was amused actually by the 
skill and uh, you know of uh, these the maradagam players in tabla playing when we accompany a musician we only play the teka so if it's teen tal da din din da da din din da da din din na din din da and uh, when uh, he shows his hand then only we will play blowla or kaida or short kaida but in uh, this uh, mradang playing in carnatic music it is different you know if you sing uh, a stanza according to your notes they will play and uh, if uh, such a thing is there in hindustani music uh, the musician will get uh, you know uh, nervous only senior people may continue otherwise they will scold now this is because then i found out why this in uh, carnatic music the musicians you know vocal musicians he will put the talam and then he sings so for him it doesn't matter if he goes <laughs> this side or that side but they play according to the notes that is speciality of uh, this one uh, that time used me then one famous uh, tabla player uh, talwalkar i don't know whether you know pandit talwalkar you know he is the first uh, tabla player came down to south and learnt mradangam and uh, he learned from this uh, mradam expert i, I don't know whether it's uh, tv uh, tv gopal krishna or uh, tk murthy one of them he has learned and uh, he he started and in hindustani music also he started showing how we have to play like uh, carnatic music that was uh, real good and he started uh, giving so he used to sing so this this is the stanza how to play according to the carnatic style uh, playing that was uh, really good so this uh, what i found in uh, uh, good in uh, this uh, music club is so you know our salary was uh, at that time 375 rupees uh, is the basic and to go from here to any academy <laughs> bus fare or auto fare and uh, the charges pick to be paid there it was not suiting our purpose but music club did excellent job you know we could listen to top musicians in the <laughs> country and uh, the speciality of uh, carnatic music players are they were not money minded you know iit stage means they were ready to come even free that is the mentality of our uh, carnatic music player whereas you ask uh, any hindustani player at that time itself they were charging 2 lakh and all if you ask uh, our uh, uh, famous tabla player uh, jakir hussain minimum 2 and 1/2 lakhs and uh, later on he started ch uh, charging 10 lakhs and all so here we could uh, listen to all top musicians with within uh, our budget that's and another thing the charges for our music club were deducted from the salary itself so in 2011 after uh, coming back and joining i i joined and 2011 to, uh, to uh, uh, 1971 i joined and up to 2011 till my retirement i continued with this and uh, the main idea of this music club was to, to facilitate us listen to top musicians and those who are learning they can get uh, learn skills from this uh, musicians and uh, people like us it music clubbers and uh, the appreciators attract them and uh, and those who are uh, enthusiastic uh, in learning music club provided uh, coaching classes also so your thing can go in a inside the campus and uh, people need not waste time in uh, going up and down for this purpose that was one of the important
one of strange feeling I had after listening to this uh, music program is, see, we used to come, we tired and uh, come to the music club in the evening and you listen to the music at the end of the music program, you completely get deep fatigued, you get freshened up, your mind will be very clear and uh, you will be with full of energy to do your continue your uh, work. That is the fantastic, fantastic uh, 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 aspects of uh, Carnatic uh, music. It may be the same with the Hindustani music. Then I thought, uh, why not uh, do some research? So before uh, coming to the music program, I used to take my BP and come. And after uh, the music program, I go, used to go back and uh, take VP. You know, to my surprise, the blood count, uh, blood, uh, this uh, pressure comes from uh, 135 to 120. So uh, 10 to 15 uh, counts, it used to come down. So I thought I'll uh, do further uh, uh, research in this. Uh, and uh, I found uh, the, there is a music therapy also, you know. So, I, when I went to the history, I found that uh, the music for us was given by Saraswati Devi and then it was propagated by Narada Muni and it has come down. Uh, and uh, about this, Samaveda is dealing with the music, uh, our music. Then the, I think Ramdas God he has written a book on Hindutva in 1985. In page 85, there is a mention about uh, a book called Shabda Kaushat. And there are about 1,000 shlokas in this book which explain about Raga Chikitsa. And uh, there is a description about uh, removal of uh, sickness using uh, this raga. What are the common features there was? Shravana, you listen to the music. Then manana, you, you know, within your mind you repeat that. Then kirtana, you sing the thing. So these three used to cure many of the diseases. And there is a, another book called uh, Deval Sutra, also enlightens, enlightens about the rendition of ragas to cure disease. And Narada Muni, he has uh, stated in uh, one of it, has quoted by somebody in uh, Sangeeta Markanda, there were eight line shloka, and uh, in this eight line shloka, it is given how, which raga we have to, which, what is the effect of raga, different raga. So we have got uh, Purna, then we have got uh, Shadava, and we have got uh, Audava. So wha what, uh, what are the influences of these ragas? So this Purna raga is rendered for longevity and faith, fame, intelligence, wealth, prosperity, and fertility. Then we have got uh, Shadava Raga, it is rendered in the case of uh, struggle, beauty, sorrow, and other approach. Vardava Raga should be rendered to remove unhappiness as the result of poverty, sickness, and uh, Graha Dosham. Now some of this, uh, as applied by our musicians, I'll uh, remind you. Now Purna Dasa, everybody knows. And Purna Dasa used to go, so after he uh, donated his wealth, he, he became sannyasi and he used to go to each and every house and uh, he used to uh, take arms from them. So whenever he goes to a house, he will see the woman is coming and he will study psychologically immediate, immediately you know some uh, women used to curse and come 
So immediately he will study them, and on the spot he used to compose a song, and uh, and he will do a particular raga and sing. At the end of this, uh, he is singing. You know the the women folk used to get cool down, and they used to go and give him arms happily. So this is the power of uh, the music. And uh, you know, MIT USA, they did some research on our Omkar chanting. And this Omkar chanting, they say that many diseases can be cured. And uh, we have got uh, a big uh, Bhagavat called Bananjay Govindachari who passed away recently. He was a Harikatha specialist. And uh, he used to say, chanting of Sudarshana Mantram can cure many of our uh, diseases. So what is needed is the concentration and your faith in self-curing. And uh, a Russian scientist, uh, Dr. Dossel, he has given the following postulations. That is, music affects the blood uh, circulation, and music maximizes and minimizes uh, blood pressure. Frequency of a heartbeat may vary through application of music. Amplitude and magnitude and tonal structures may affect on the blood pressure and uh, frequency rate. You know, if you attended the music program, the Western music program in the OAT, you know, they were uh, singing at high pitch, high volume, and all. And uh, sometimes, you know, I used to get uh, palpitation because when the two frequencies uh, match, <laughs> you know, your uh, blood pressure will rise. So this is the effect. Whereas soft uh, Western music are there, there you will get uh, the same effect as uh, kinetic music. And I want to give the example of uh, this uh, music, how it can calm down anything. You know, Muslim Italy government once, uh, uh, when Mussolini was uh, the head, they conducted an international music festival, and uh, Pandit Omkarnath Thakur was invited. And Mussolini was uh, having a sleeplessness and uh, insomnia problem. So he wanted to check all these people, are, uh, whether they are duping us or uh, it is real. Then uh, he invited Omkarnath Thakur to his court. And uh, Omkarnath Thakur, he sang one song in Bhuprag. Yes, Bhuprag, uh, it is uh, uh, this uh, outdoor. And uh, at the end of the song, you know, tears were trickling down from uh, Mussolini's uh, this one. And uh, Mussolini, who is always very hot tempered, no? he cooled down. And at the end of the music, he came and shook hand with the uh, Omkarna Thakur and told him that what uh, you claim in uh, Hindustani music, it is true. Then same uh, Omkarna Thakur, when he went to Kabul, there was uh, a lion which was uh, restless. It was roaring and disturbing the whole area. So he just <coughs> went near that and started uh, uh, this singing uh, this uh, Kafi Raga. After uh, 10, 15 minutes, the lion calmed down and went to sleep. Then, knowing more, our uh, Omkarna Kakas uh, uh, proficiency in music and its effect in uh, various ways, you know, they called, uh, in Saurashtra there was a famine, no rain, and they called uh, Omkarna Ji. And three days he sang on various uh, uh, these uh, 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 ragas, mega malar and all. And on the third day, when the Purnavati was uh, given, 
and a thunder shower started coming and for three days it uh, rained continuously. And similarly, in our history we would have learned about Thansin. You know, Thansin used to sing uh, this uh, Deepak rock and produce fire. And then he used to sing Megavalar and Kanjit. And this is the power of uh, this one. Now, coming to the last, uh, this one. You know, our dignity, you know, Tyagaraja and Shama Shastri and Dikshita, you know, they also done such research work. And uh, Tyagaraja revived a dead person to life with uh, Nagiva Dharana, his composition in Bilahari Raga. Then Muthu Swami Dikshita, he cured stomach pain with his Navagraha Kriti. And Shama Shastri speaks Duru Suga. He applies Raga music to play for sound and health. Now, having known this, our music club, you know, they should also associate with our uh, biomedical uh, people and also the medical science. Uh, this the uh, B program, B tech program has started. So they must uh, associate and do the research, and uh, that will help. Uh, the future generation. And already we had uh, Umiyar Puram Shivaraman who used to come and do the research in our applied mechanics on uh, you know, FRP, uh, this Maradangam, uh, and strict uh, Maradangam, because carrying the Maradangam is very difficult. Now, if you strict it, so it is uh, with both hands you can. Uh, carry it and it is easy. So he used to find out by doing this, what are the variation in the frequency and all. So uh, Chandra Mauli was, uh, Professor Chandra Mauli was uh, associated with this. So I will complete with the, this uh, Carnatic music, ragas and what are their uh, influence. So Kokulam, I wrote a book on uh, sleeplessness and uh, uh, insomnia in which I made use of this uh, research from our uh, music club, uh, this one, music club. And uh, I have given one chapter, music therapy for curing sleepless and insomnia. And some of them I am reading. Kokulam Ragam, it helps to prevent uh, stone formation, burning sensation, sleeplessness, and anxiety. Then Madhu Parshini, it's good for nerves. So people who are having uh, you know, uh, nervousness uh, and uh, uh, what is it? What's it called? Uh, what? Uh, some of the nerve associated uh, problems, they can uh, listen to this. Uh, and it cures diseases like a slight headache and sleepless and sinus problem. And Mohanam. It uh, cures headache, indigestion, and depression. You know, I have tried this. I have various people's uh, uh, songs I have uh, uh, downloaded from net and I was uh, listening. And it really works. And uh, Sama makes the mind sober. So if somebody is, uh, you know, excited and all these things, you can listen to this and it makes uh, Sober, tranquil, induce a good sleep and peace. And similarly, Saramati Bhajan, it is good for sleeplessness and, and uh, depression. And uh, another ragam is Nilambari. It also helps uh, in uh, curing the sleeplessness and insomnia. And uh, Sandhya Kalyani is good for uh, sleep. And uh, after the sleep, you will become uh, very fresh. So. These are the effects of uh, this raga and uh, attending the music club uh, programs, I was really benefited by this and it gave me material for doing research and it helped me in, uh, you know, uh, writing that book, one, cha one chapter uh, devoted for this. And uh, I am uh, still doing some research and uh, uh, next uh, uh, my book, uh, your body is God's wonder and gift to you. Nurture it. In this, uh, I am uh, 
going to write a detailed report to the ra various <laughs> ragas that is needed for nurturing our body. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Thank One, one more thing I want to tell you is that uh, when our uh, music club was on zero period, you know, God gave us a gift uh, in the form of uh, T.T. Narendran. And he, earlier we used to have one program per month and after he took over, it's really nice. We used to have four programs per uh, month. And not only that, he used to bring a discussion, one session, one program for discussion, where we can clear our doubts which are there in various aspects of music. So it's a really good thing that IIT had a person like T.T. Narendra who has contributed a lot to our music club. Yeah, thanks again, Professor Gopinath. Um, I think it's, it's wonderful that so much of uh, Carnatic music and ragas induce um, relaxation and uh, uh, sleep and so on. But I think we need some music to wake up our students in class. <laughs> uh, maybe Western music. Uh, Professor Kolar, your thoughts. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Professor Nagarajan for arranging this program and inviting us. I'm not a musician, as most of you know. I just love Carnatic classical music and a little bit of Hindustani classical music. <coughs> so that's why I've been invited here. I would like to believe that. Um, I joined IIT Madras in 1971. Late 1971 as a PhD scholar. Just before that, I was in IIT Kharagpur as an MTEC student. There was a Telugu association. There was no music club. Then uh, they arranged a Carnatic classical music program by No Color Chinna Satya Narayana. Uh, I'm from a small town in Karnataka. I didn't know much about Carnatic music except a few Purandar Dasa songs sung every evening with my parents. So I attended that program and I was absolutely thrilled and impressed. Uh, later I found out that he was a very leading Carnatic classical musician from uh, Andhra. <coughs> then I said, oh, I'm going to IIT Madras. Will there be something like this? The moment I landed here, uh, late 71, October or November, uh, Sachidananda, my friend, my new friend at that time, he said, hey, there's a music club. You should become a member of that. So maybe it was two rupees for our students, or even five rupees per month, or something like that. I joined, and I just want to share with you. Huh? Two rupees for two rupees. Three for faculty. Three for faculty. <laughs> two rupees for students. Huh? But my PhD scholarship was only 400 rupees. MTech scholarship was 250 rupees. I would get money from my father to travel from Kharagpur to Bangalore. So two rupees, yeah, but still it was quite reasonable. Um, then I started attending and for the first time, you know, um, I learned to appreciate music, enjoy music. So Sachidananda used to sit with me next to me. He later married a Veena player from IIT Madras. Uh, her name also was Veena, I think. I used to say, this is the Raga. Hey, you don't know anything, shut up, he used to say. Hey, they, tell me what is wrong with this. I'll explain to you later, but he never explains. So Sachidananda is a big, uh, big uh, industrialist today. What I'm saying is, uh, for a person from a you know, small town, this was a new experience. IIT, first of all, I came to IIT, that was a big thing. The music club in IIT, which should uh, arrange these programs, as Gopinath said, a spectrum of musicians from new, uh, you know, young artists, junior artists, to Chemmai Vaidyanath Avagavadar, 1896 born. 72, I attended this program in CLT, Chambai, TVG, and Rukmini. An incident happened, but I'll tell you if there is time later. So I was drawn to the music club by the sheer uh, quality of the musicians whom I have had heard of him. Uh, Lal Gudi, we had heard of him, but I didn't know anything about him. So then I got myself attached to this uh, music club. 
74 or 75, sir, you were the president, I think, Purushottam was the secretary. Kannada Sangha, in which we were active, we said we should have a Purandar Dasa program. But then the concert fees were about 400 rupees, 500 rupees for the entire, 300 rupees for the entire program, for everybody. We said we cannot afford it. Kannada Sangha cannot afford 300 rupees. So we said, we came to an understanding, we maximum 100 rupees we pay from the Kannada Sangha. You please arrange. So music club uh, was extremely gracious in that. And the first program was by uh, Bombay Sisters here in CLT. <coughs> then many such programs, Purandarasa programs are even continuing. Now I would like to believe there was a short gap, I think. The music club grew from, you know, went to really the higher uh, levels of attracting students, faculty, children, staff, and outsiders. Um, I have lots of things to say, but I'll, because detail will give you more information. I would like to characterize IT Music Club with three alphabets, P, P, and C. P is a pioneer. Many people don't know that there was no Munich Sava south of Adyar River in those times. Koturpuram, nothing. There was no Koturpuram bridge. So if Koturpuram people had to listen to music, they had to take 5B, go to either uh, Mailapur or Tinagar. There are the two hubs of classical music and even now I think, but others have come up. <coughs> so, first organization, uh, Ham Hamsadhani came in 1990. Many other orchid, Koturpuram has now won, uh, run by the Ch Chettiyars. It's all new. IIT Madras Music Club, according to me, has that distinction, the first in South Madras. So people from Koturpuram, Gandhi Nagar, Adiyar, Besan Nagar used to come. And then they started advertising IIT music programs in the Hindu. People would watch it and then come in the evening, pay, and also cheap, maybe few rupees at that time. So that was the attraction of IIT Music Club and that was the uh, way it was looked at even in, in South Madras itself. Today there are many, many 65 associations also in uh, Madras. So I would call it a pioneer for South Madras. It was a promoter of classical music. Later I would say a little bit of dance, but classical music. Why I am saying this? An entire generation, two generations of youngsters in this institute, the children of faculty, came to know about classical music, attended the concerts. Today, some of them are running music classes in United States, Canada, Singapore, people who grew up with music club. You can ask them, they'll come and give you a concert today. You ask them, they'll say, because of music club, I got interested. They get a lot of encouragement. Everybody was welcome at that time. So it spread to faculty wives who never knew any music, they started uh, attending and they wanted to learn. So from very junior artists, which uh, T.T. Nandan brought, to Chambai have performed here, of course, Lal Gudi talked about, in music club. It spread, it's the second part of the P promotion is spread this music, classical music thing, to other uh, organizations and activities in the campus. The cultural week. Sudha Raghunathan had come and sang there and Chitra also in our culture week in the early 70s actually in OAT. But 74 it became Mardi Gras. From that time onwards the first day of Mardi Gras is for Carnatic classical music and they knew people will not pay for it so it was made free. And to make money they started inviting uh, Zakir Hussain and uh, our uh, Sarod uh, people and all. Zakir Hussain, okay that's a different matter, forget about it. So the the, the Faculty, wives, families, children, uh, and the staff were greatly benefited by this. It went into um, Bharat Utsav, Mardi Gras, Sarang, and national and international conferences held in IIT Madras, they somehow wanted either a Carnatic classical music program or a dance program. We have arranged that many, many times. So it became, you know, it, it spread this, this perfume of Carnatic classical music to the entire campus, oh, there is a conference coming up, let us have a classical music program. So in that way it spread this, this fantastic art to the entire uh, campus. It also encouraged therefore private people, families in our own campus to have their own private programs as you know. We had Tyagaraja music festivals and then Lakshmi Sri Ram's house, we had private concerts 
uh, Soumya sang in my house twice when she was a student uh, here. Uh, D.K. Patamal's son, uh, daughter, Nitishri, she came and said, I'm saying how the music club, you know, affected the overall Carnatic classical music ambience in the uh, campus. Uh, so that finally my C is catalyst. It was a great catalyst for the same reasons which I have said. Um, I would like to say there was one Miss Sita Subramanian madam who taught music to our children here and they performed in a group in IIT, sorry, in the Madras Music Academy, December season, you know, morning before the conference there is a um, uh, uh, half an hour. Our children, IIT Madras children and our Sita Subramanian, they sang there. And they remember that even today. So it's not simply a music program, an IIT music club that we went. It has generated uh, over a period of 50 years that enthusiasm. And some of them have really stuck to this even today. I know very well because they are teaching in the United States today. There were a few students who became popular. Um, Ananda Krishnan was a violinist. Rajna Ryan, flautist. Vardarangan. Vardarangan. He is now in Bangalore. He has developed uh, uh, leather. Vegan Murdangam. Vegan Murdangam. Vegan Murdangam. Uh, there was Anta Krishnan, Raj Narayan. Is, anybody who uses Radal Shruti box today should remember Raj Narayan. He was our MTech student, electrical engineering. He is a big defense uh, supplier of these things. He developed uh, Sarang uh, audio, uh, Shruti box, uh, Tambura. Even though he is doing a lot of developments, his wife Radhika Narayan is a famous uh, uh, Veena player. He is from IIT Madras. Then, of course, there was Guitar Prasanna. I arranged his program. He was an 18-year-old second-year student in Ganga Hostel Day. I arranged his. He was playing Carnatic classical music on guitar. Today he's an international uh, fame, guitar prasanna. Of course, Soumya. All of us remember Sangeeta Kalani, the Soumya. She was our student. So, our uh, IIT Madras Music Club is not just a club where you go sit, listen to somebody, and go. It has nurtured two generations here and I today am not a great um, technical expert. I love music to hear Carnatic classical. I never missed attending our December programs in the music, I mean the season, the mad, 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 mad music season because my interest was encouraged, opportunities were given. I didn't, as he said, I didn't have to go to music academy or anywhere to listen to music. And here in the campus, and this beautiful campus, beautiful campus of nature, surrounded by nature, with lots of uh, flora and fauna, ideally suited for music, I would think. So I would say that uh, this music club, therefore, so, so many other things are there, but I will not get into it. TTN should talk about it. Uh, it was a pioneer, it was a promoter, and it was a catalyst. Just because he mentioned Tony Lewis, 19. 73 January. Pongal always the Chipak Stadium would be, you know, there was a test match. So Louis and uh, Nava Patodi were sitting in the front row in the CLT. We were at the back. We didn't know that they had come. When they announced, we all got up, we forgot about Lalbadi Jairaman. We wanted to see Louis and Nava Patodi was our, our hero of those uh, times. One night he would hit a six in the cover of Ashley Mallet in Chipak. We would be wondering at his, uh, you know, class of cricket. So that was one thing, Chambai Vadyana the Bhagavata. One, that one I'll explain later if there is any time. Uh, but from Kanal Sangha and Purnadasa point of view, Sudha Raghunathan gave a fantastic concert in 95 or 96, three hour concert. I took her permission to record, which is not usually given, you know, full three cassettes. Till recently I had it actually, I was listening to them. And when we came out of the CLT, we were waiting for a car to take her. Suddenly she said, Kolaravre. Chanagitan and program. I said, Suhalagno, then you speak Kannada? I was very happy, obviously. Uh, she said, yeah, my school days, I was in uh, uh, Bangalore. Then I shifted here, so I know good Kannada. So I became a little bit more, you know. Uh, so that was a great concert. We three of our solid Dasa Sahitya songs. Many of others have come. Changalpat Ranganathan, sir, guru of T.T. Nadendra. A lot of people have come. So I would like to conclude saying this uh, music club has given uh, all of us 
made our life in IIT Madras more meaningful, uh, more elevating, if I may say. And if, if I may say, elevating towards spiritualism. If anybody could listen to Chambai Vaidyanath, Vaidyanath Bhagavatam, with you know half naked, with all the devotees and all that, and suddenly Rara Rajiva Lochana Rama and Sayankale Vanante, we would be transformed into a different uh, uh, spiritual environment, spiritual uh, feeling. And he said something that day, I'll keep it to the rest later if I have time. Thank you all very much. Thanks, sir. Thanks so much, Professor Kola, for that perspective. So now let's segue to Professor TTN. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, everybody. And I don't know if I'm going to keep you hungry for a long time. I'll just share memories of what I went through over 50 years. Uh, my first entry into music club was sometime in late 71. The CLT under that time was not uh, available for any program because it was being air conditioned or they were fixing chairs. One of those reasons, I'm not very sure. The program used to, yes. The program happened in BSB 105 or 205 or the first floor of BSB which later on became the computer center, the mainframe. The IBM 370 came in there much later. Uh, that was in 74 or 75. The concert was by Ananta Krishnan and Muradangam was by the late Subhash Chandra, who's no more. Yeah, sir. Uh, thereafter, slowly I st uh, started getting interested in music club, the activities, and started doing a bit of volunteering as a student then. Uh, in fact, there are a few, let's say, non-faculty who are quite active uh, in organizing the music club program, so I must mention their names here. Uh, first was Mr. R. Bala Subramaniam, Balu is what you used to call him, yeah. was working for Professor Nara and Rao, the same lab. He had made a lot of contact with musicians. He uh, used to help a lot in fixing programs. Later on, it was uh, Mr. T. Varadarajan who was in the placement office. Yeah, he was earlier director secretary also. Uh, so Mr. Varadarajan had done quite a bit of, uh, let's say, contact, contacting musicians, organizing programs and all that. In later years, Mr. Veeru Raghavan was a treasurer and then again from electrical okay. department, Prabhakar Rao was treasurer and uh, more recent years, uh, K.B. Swaminathan, who is still around. No. Yeah, I am talking of non-teachers. Yeah. And then I must not forget another person who probably has held around the music club for 50 years. Some of you would be familiar with our Mohan. He is also one of those who is with the music club. He is retired from IIT, but he still comes to help for music club programs. So there were several who have contributed. Same with the number of student volunteers I've had. In fact, uh, Somewhere around 98, yeah. I, I left the campus in 79. For nine years, I lived outside the campus. That was when uh, there were others who were running the music club. In 88, I came into music club, and that was the time when it looked like the club was in bad shape. And uh, in fact, I remember attending the general body meeting. I was nudged by a student, Kannan. R. Kannan or Kannan Radha Gopalan. He, 1986 chemical, he worked for a year in Pune, came back to do MS in computer science. And that is when he was the one who pushed me to literally put it, Mama, please take it. I'll do the work for you. <laughs> so that's how it started in 88. Uh, 
by then remunerations had gone out uh, gone up slightly i would say uh, in the sense uh, in the 70s it was uh, 300 for a senior artist and 100 for, with party and 150 for junior artists entire troupe and yes like professor narayan rao said iit students all of this did make them uh, let's say uh, quite kind to us uh, there were several stalwart accompaniments who have played for 75 rupees 100 rupees and so of course rupee value was much much higher then <laughs> so around 1988 as you said it had increased threefold i still remember i called up uh, the famous flautist ramani and told him Shar Sharanagati. <laughs> he asked me, what's the matter? I said, this is all I can afford. I have, I, then it was 1,000. By then, the remunerations elsewhere had gone up, shot up enormously. This, so this was itself a very small amount. You have to help us out. Our club is sinking. Please do not refuse. He said, okay, now what is that? No problem. Now fix. And he brought T. Rukmini for violin accompaniment. <laughs> So he didn't compromise on the accompanying artists either. And it got started. And within a few months, he managed to get mandolin use in us. And that was a sellout event. Imagine a scenario like this. The artists are seated on stage. And other than that, there was not an inch of space on CLT. The entire steps, the gallery, <laughs> the, 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 uh, the floor around the stage, everything was occupied. I now think of it, thank God there was no accident or incident or stampede or interesting. <laughs> so, I also remember artists such as Chitti Babu, Balamurli Krishna drawing full houses. So, but that was only one side of the story. No. Uh, yeah. Uh, regarding membership, of course, it doesn't exist now. Now they are running on sponsor. For faculty, it was deduction through deduction through salary. For students, it was deduction through mess bill. <laughs> of course, for tickets, there was no such facility. So individual programs, tickets were in the order of two rupees, three rupees, five rupees, that kind of right? That's all. So this is a motive. But with students, we had to address other issues also. See, the mess timings are 7 to 8. And with many messes, even by 7.30 or so, you won't get food. So there was the system of late meals. So, so by which the mess staff would write the room number on the plate, cover it. And the students who used to attend till 9 o'clock or whatever time this concert ended, then go back and eat. For a few years, I was assistant warden in the hostel of the Tapti Hostel. I was able to attract a lot of student members to attend the programs. So we used to get good attendance. And late meals also could be arranged. So it helped being in the hostel sector, being with the students at that time. And at all times, we have had the embarrassment of thin audience, 10 people, 20 people. Ups and downs throughout the 50 years it has been there. <laughs> so, the other thing we did was to take care that it matched with the student academic curriculum. So, there, in those days there used to be a cycle of periodicals. So, this should come between two cycles of periodicals when the student did not have that much of a workload. And later on, it was the quizzes. I don't know what exactly exists now. But we used to avoid, as I said, those dates when students would have to prepare for exams. But this is something which we took care. Publicity initially was cyclostyle circulars being distributed to members and notice boards of the hostel. And there used to be one ugly poster in front of CLT, which I did with a paintbrush. <laughs> the, later on, we started putting uh, slides in the OAT movie, because OAT was another big medium for publicity then. 
course, today the situation is totally changed. I don't have to say anything. Transport. The grant of transport IIT often depended on the whims and fancies of the middle management staff in the administrative block. So while the directors were generous, <laughs> the deputy registrar level there was always a problem. And yes. Yeah. And uh, in this, I must say that when Professor Indresen was the director, he got a resolution passed at the dean's committee that uh, that transport will be given free to music club. And that continued. After some years, they said transport is free, but can you uh, pay the drivers? We were willing. So that was not a problem. It still continued. Then, the institute used to give transport. Then there were times when the transport was not necessarily impressive. I remember one particular van which was used probably for transporting goods mm -hmm. had been sent. And they put a bench or two inside it. Mm -hmm. And M.S. Gopalakrishnan commented, Nai vandi mari riksar. Even refreshments were a problem. Because on campus, nothing was available at that time. So we have to have had some arrangement with some hostel mess or buy it earlier. This, this thing did not exist then. No, this has become a common. This is the only refreshment that we give. So most instrumentalists were happy with a soft drink, Fanta or Coca-Cola kind of thing. If it is a vocalist, this is not the right drink. And it was not easy to arrange a coffee. Again, I used to try and talk to some mess manager, send a flask, <laughs> so that kind of thing. Some used to have this plain soda, goli soda, I don't know if it still exists. So, one other embarrassment, there was no restroom close to CLT. The restroom that you now see attached to CLT was built much, much later. So, and if you were lady artists, you had to take them to the first floor and it would be dark. <laughs> All of these were problems. And uh, coordination, there's so many agencies to coordinate. Well, most of the time it was okay with the public address system, the transport and shield. There were times when even this was difficult. We had difficulties with public address system. We have had difficulties with transport. We've we still have difficulties in getting CLT. It's not e easy to get CLT for every program. And communication with artists, mobile phone, this is not the era of mobile phone. Yeah. So some had some artists had phones at home, many did not. So the good old inland letter used to work. I still have a letter written by Sesha Gopalan from Madurai then. <laughs> and all the negotiations were through the letters. You must pass it on to the Heritage Center. <laughs> yeah. And uh, sometimes, of course, we used to go in person also. Some of them insisted that we come in person. And, uh, we used to put the students in the forefront. Yeah. They are our majority <laughs> members, so that discount was available. Also. In fact, uh, from around 96 onwards, I started using students in a big way. They used to contact artists, fix everything, do all the running around. I, I could, let us say, operate with less of workload on me and more work to the students. And I must acknowledge the amount of effort they put in at that time. Of course, they also bring in technology. <laughs> so, publishing, etc., they were more innovative in that. One of the vexing problems we used to have is this. There are people who want to record music, <laughs> and there were artists who objected to it. I know of one incident when a foreigner came in. It was a concert of K.V. Narayan Sami with Palgat Rogo and Ramarudangam. 
he had recorded, none of us had noticed, but Paul Gattrogu noticed it. He caught him after the concert. And Kavian, with his broken English, and Raghu, of course, was a graduate, he didn't have a communication problem. They insisted that they, he erased the cassette. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's and there were a few artists who allowed recording but said, give me the first copy of the cassette, <laughs> that way. So this used to be <laughs> one of the issues. And uh, there's something that Professor Narayan Rao did not tell you. When Tony Lewis and Pataudi came, there was young, uh, oh, there was one young boy, a faculty son, who came for an autograph and he <laughs> said, no way. <laughs> You shall not. <laughs> no, 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 no. But we compensated for it later. Uh, we actually met the team and got an entire sheet with all the team members' uh, autograph and uh, duplicated it and gave it to all our student members who wanted it. It was uh, uh, we compensated to some extent. One other interesting, there's this problem of listeners' requests. When in his time, he actively described, he said, let the artists sing what they had planned to sing. Do not interrupt with requests. Actually, there was one particular uh, faculty member, I forget his name. They, he and his wife were very particular about uh, songs. For example, Krishnani Begane Baro or something like that. At every concert, every musician, they would send a slip like this to please sing that. Uh, you see, once or twice you can permit it, but uh, it became a nuisance afterwards. Then we brought in that role. No public request will be allowed unless the uh, artist himself or herself offers to sing any particular song. Because they come with some concept. What should be the concept like, be like and all that. And to disturb it with your particular uh, interest, it is not fair. So it is never allowed in any concert. I, at least we followed that practice. I don't know what is the practice now. I, I'll do, I can share some later embarrassments. Well past the Taniya Artanam, somebody asks, can you ask him to sing Vata <laughs> Viganapati? <laughs> it would be such an embarrassment to know that I had such members in the audience too, <laughs> quietly censored. And once I had a big embarrassment, but I managed it. It was D.K. Patamar's concert. The director was sitting next to me. I'll not name the director. Can you ask her to sing Yandaro Mahanubhav, fag end of the concert? <laughs> I said, no, sir. I, I, I don't remember how I <laughs> managed the situation, mm -hmm. but I did not communicate that request to the artist. So, uh, I must mention here that music club could not get MS Ulakshmi, but I think it was Ajit Kolar and first Saran that we got her to sing at OAT. That was the only time where Srimati MS Subhulakshmi sang at IIT. I wanted to I, I mention that she gave a free concert, if I remember. She didn't charge us anything. No, no. It, it was given to charitable causes. Charitable. Uh, Ms. Lakshmi, we went to her house hmm. and uh, um, I wanted to say this later now that he has brought it up. I was a cultural advisor. Krishna was my secretary. Yeah. Ms. secretary, Atma, was a relative or somebody. So we somehow set it up and we went there. My intention was to see Ms. at Dachar Peak. But she never came out of the house. Uh, Sadashivam took care of everything. He gave us kashayam. He said, no coffee here. Uh, these are the songs she is going to sing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And he said, uh, if you want one aapki uh, farmaish from the students, you please give us. She will sing that. Um, one lakh, ten thousand rupees. Two organizations. Uh, Juvenile Diabetic Association. And Amar Seva Sangham Amar Seva from Aikuri. 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 Uh, I uh, so many things I can say, but I cut short. After that, uh, Mr. Peran um, uh, Amar Seva Sangham, Ramakrishnan, he, he, he was a handicapped person. Yeah. I didn't know. Came on a wheelchair. When he, no, he came in a car. Yeah. I went, uh, somebody opened the 
door and I said, Sir, welcome. He just looked at me and smiled. I said, why is this not a man extending his hands? His hands were his handicap. He had a major problem when he was young. Uh, he only, you know, this part was working, but he was such a great social worker. So my students came and lifted him out of the car. I felt uh, so embarrassed and very bad about it. But the point is, after a few months, I got a letter from him thanking IIT Madras for donating that money. He had constructed a room in his Anath Ashram. I really, even when I remember that, I feel very moved about it. So I just wanted to uh, share that. Uh, and MS Subrakshmi's program was, of course, yeah. uh, really great. I must mention Krishna's contribution here. He was the one who came up with this idea of youth festival. For, from there onwards, we also uh, planned this. When are the students relatively free from academic workload? So what we did was, at the beginning of the academic year, say in August, we would hold the, the class fest, as it was called, four senior artists. In the December Jubilee year, I still remember, we had six concerts. And interestingly, there was D.K. Patamal and Sudha Raghunathan in the same series. And Ranjani Gayatri, now the famous vocalist, one of them accompanied Patamal on the violin, the other accompanied Sudha on the violin. And there was also a Hindustani artist, uh, Shahid Parvez. Yeah. That was also there. We had six concerts for the Silver Jubilee year at that time. It, it went very well. I, uh, I think I should mention at this stage. Uh, one novel uh, experiment we tried, it was not a big success, but uh, we even gave chance to our members to, yeah. uh, members concert we used to call that, and once in two months or once in three months, once, at once a year only I think. Yeah, members I think we tried it out of our student members or even faculty members, faculty did not participate much I should say. But uh, the student members were not, uh, I think even Narendra I think, yeah, participated. My first concert <laughs> was a, uh, a member's I, I must also mention this. I played twice at Music Club, 71 and 74. 74 was with violin Anantakrishnan and flute Narayanan. All student members. Yes. But once I took off, became an office bearer of Music Club, I resolved I will not perform for the Music Club as an office bearer. It is misuse of position. So that was, I was very clear. <laughs> Only after retirement, <laughs> I, yeah. If I must acknowledge here, Professor Gopina, who used to regularly come and take photographs of the concerts, the artists. So in fact, recently when Heritage Center asked for photographs, I said, he is the best person to contact. He, because he was the one who, took most of the photographs. Have a camera at that time. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was an enjoyable journey of uh, music club with, as I said, several ups and downs. One thing I do notice is that it, towards the later years, it became more difficult to get students to attend concerts. I do not know what the situation is now. Another strange thing which I have noticed, so there were a few amongst the students who were learning music outside, but they would only, let us say, learn music. They won't even come for a concert at the music. There were people like that. So the listening students were not necessarily overlapping with the learning students. <laughs> so this was a, one of the funny phenomena that I had observed. Overall, I'd say I'm happy that Music Club is still going strong. In terms of remuneration, I think you have to multiply at least by a factor of 100 what we are paying then, perhaps more than that. But it's still going fine. I, I guess it's actually the value of the rupee which keeps dropping, and that is why the amounts look big. And when we talk about our salaries and ticket rates, it will now look like a joke, two rupees yeah. and three rupees. <laughs> Even the pension amounts are yeah. much higher now. <laughs> right. and, uh, imagine just two, two rupees. People used to hesitate to become members. Yeah. They said it is very costly. Yeah. Can you imagine that? 
and then we had to approach the director for uh, salary deduction facility because they would not spare two rupees cash. They would say deduct it from salary. <laughs> See, all those are funny. It looks funny now, but in those days we had to go through those. I, I went to a senior professor asking for 25 rupees. Mm. He said, Kola, I have four mouths to feed. Mm. <laughs> I said, sir, we don't want your money in that At, at all times, uh, enrolling members used to be a challenge. We used to have camp in particular in the hostel sector. There were some enthusiastic volunteers who would go around room to room campaigning and yeah. bringing in members. Yeah. Of course, yeah. all of that has changed now. I so, should uh, summarize and say we had very good support from the student crowd, but less support from the faculty crowd. With faculty, it was restricted to uh, counting on your fingers, 10, 15, 20. But student members were always in hundreds. And that we should acknowledge. Only thing we did not do for the students is arrange any coaching, music coaching. I'm sure it would have been a failure because our IIT students are so independent, they would not like to learn here, but they would be learning elsewhere, outside possibly. No. But that is one thing which I feel we could have tried out. But, but for, for some years, the later like, years, through the dean students and the advisor cultural, we were getting violin teacher to teach at HSB 133. And we have seen that number of students. Flute also was happening. Shivakumar? Shivakumar came for flute? Yes, yeah. correct. But our students uh, would plead uh, either lack of time or lack of interest uh, to go and learn such things. Yeah. yeah. Can we make questions now? Sure. I am done. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to share with, uh, two incidents that uh, really stuck, uh, you know, it stuck in my mind for a long time. 72, 73, I was new. Chambai's uh, program, TV Gopala Krishnan and uh, T. Rukmini, I said. Uh, I don't know much at that time. Even now, I don't know much. I just enjoy music. Obviously, TVG was, you know, dexterously, dynamically, handling the Murdangam, I thought it was good. Suddenly, Chambai said, stop it. I didn't know what it meant at that time. Then somebody said, I thought, you know, he was admonishing him actually, but TVG was happily smiling, laughing, and he went on. I said, how can this happen in a public concert? And then in the same program, when T. Rukmini finished up one of her segments, Bale, Bale Rukmini, <laughs> He's telling TV. She was a very dignified uh, artist. I remember this because I was new. Even today, after 52 years, I have not forgotten. On the other hand, in the 80s, um, in our, uh, as I said, this music club had, you know, spin off things and our co co competitions with Mardi Gras and all. One of those competitions, MS Aman Anantraman was the judge. This uh, girl, Obviously, even her Shruti was wrong. I couldn't make out. After some time, she said, stop. He, he said, stop. Shruti Pandeko first time, Shunas. In front of everybody. She tried, she could not. And he said, please leave the stage. She went off the stage crying. I said, maybe, you know, he could have been a little bit more. Uh, but later I learned MS Anantram was a very, very strict uh, Gopa, MSG's younger My elder brother. Uh, elder brother, he was there. In one of those concerts, a few IIT students were sitting behind me. This singer was doing Pallavi. After a few minutes, they feel, hey, this lady has forgotten the lyrics here. And the Pallavi, and the party, they left the stage actually. I don't know what to do. So this was the condition. I don't know now. Okay, classical music is only for a certain. People who really appreciate and want to appreciate, that is there. But it has been a very fascinating journey for us. And the fact that today, after 50 years, music club is functioning, and the leadership of various people, if they know some of these things, they'll be more enthused, excited to bring in Arun. Uh, and I want to place on record uh, Professor Narendra for starting the club, and T.T. Narendra. Everybody knows about him. Huh? Ah, nurturing without him, because he is a musician himself, 
has a lot of contacts outside. Otherwise, people won't come for 100 rupees, 200 rupees. As he said, even Ramani had to coax him to come. All the top, most top musicians have performed here. We were able to listen to them because of uh, TT Narendra. Number one, our CLT has one of the best acoustics in the city. Many musicians have told me, including Chitra Vishweshwaran, when I had arranged for a dance program several times, Urmila Satyanarayana and Shaila Jaya, uh, Bhampati Chini Satyam's programs, of course, that was in OAT. No, even CLT he performed. They used to tell me, even they you know simple tinkling of the. In the shoulder, I'm not Tamil. Ah, ah, Gunguru, they could hear very clearly with, with a lot of clarity. Urmila's husband, uh, the IIT Madras product, he said, Sir, this is one of the best uh, acoustic arrangements in the city. So, musicians would love to come here. Audience and other, other things are different. So, there are so many, you know, fantastic, uh, uh, nostalgic things for us. Um, we are all lucky to be in this campus. Hard gateway of South Indian culture is what Madras is, in that for us who lived here for 35 years. When we are experiencing these things, we don't give much value to it. When we go out of the campus, when we think about it, uh, my whatever little I understand and appreciate classical music is because of music club, the whole musical ambience in this campus. Children enthusiastically take part in, taking part in the programs, uh, classes um, I am seen in many other places. Kharagpur, as I told you, Hindustani musicians used to come, but there was no real, you know, that musical thing except during the spring festival, as we used to call. But classical music. One, one, one uh, rare thing, uh, just now because you mentioned that, it occurred to me that was uh, an artist who uh, was given concert here, both in Carnatic and in Hindustani music. We had arranged first, I think, in Carnatic uh, music concert, and after a month or two, we arranged uh, even in Hindustani this thing. He was very glad to come. And Later, Trichu Ramchandran also sang Hindustani here? No. Charmati's husband? No. Ah, uh, I remember both. Uh, both the Gopal Krishnas at different Both times. Yeah. Uh, uh, MSG was accompanied by N.V. Murthy Tabla. That yeah. also uh, I want to mention with uh, uh, Nagarajan's permission, because Western classical also was talked about. Yes. There are two sister violinists called Lalita Nandini. Ah. Uh, L. Subramaniam's niece, niece or yeah. grand niece. I had arranged their program, not in the from the music club, but in the conference. Half the program was Carnatic classical. And after that, they changed their dress for Western <laughs> classical music. <laughs> they are trying. Uh, they have certificates from some British uh, thing. It was so good that my friend, who was the DRDO director general, Dr. Koshyada, he was attending for some reason. He said, Ajit, can you arrange that program in my headquarters in Delhi? Okay. And I sent, I mean, I arranged for Lalita and uh, Nandini to go. So even classical music was classic, I mean, uh, Western music also. One, one concert we had. Yeah, one program which happened then was this Western music, uh, violin, symphony, Narasimhan, led by the famous Narasimhan, that, that Western classical music, one I remember one we are in the early 70s. <coughs> okay, so I want to thank all of our panelists for a round of uh, fascinating anecdotes and their personal <laughs> reflections. Uh, since we are running a bit late, we have time only for like one or two questions from the audience, if anybody would like to, yeah. Uh, but they, they need electronic signal. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm just uh, not going to ask any question, but since uh, Mama has said, I do not know what's the situation, I do not know what's the situation, I waited. For two and th thrice also he said. Then I said, no, I have to answer this. <laughs> so very quick a roundup of what is the current situation of Music Club. Um, yes, so the situation has flipped now in terms of who participates. Student members are very, very bleak. And it is a faculty and interestingly faculty's parents who attend the concerts. So in fact, we were thinking of late to have a Rasika Award. Uh, we have a very senior 
uh, couple interestingly who live in our building in Chola who uh, attend every concert from the start to the end. Even I may not be there, but they are there. Uh, it's just amazing. And uh, they are here right now. So they, in fact, they deserve a big round of applause, I might say. Um, uh, yes, I think uh, fortunately the audience has now uh, gone up, maybe thanks to the media and, and everything. So we are able to get a lot more people and it's very encouraging. In terms of uh, CLT you know, uh, or IAT Music Club being the most sought after, it still holds. Many, many musicians today, even established ones, are very eager to perform at IAT. Somehow they, they feel it's a very elite audience that they'll be performing to, which is true. And um, you know that helps us a lot in getting the artists easily. That is, a, yes, the remunerations have gone up. To give you an idea, today for Class Fest, we spend uh, overall about 60 to 70k just for one concert. And artists have sometimes demanded one lakh, but we said you know we'll keep it at that. For Youth Fest, uh, we pay about uh, 10k per artist in sense, uh, and then of course there are overheads and so on. And we also have opening concerts uh, at the beginning of the academic year. We are trying to maintain a balance of uh, vocalist and instrumental. I always feel that given a lot more international presence on campus, having uh, mu uh, instrumental really helps. And there is a lot more uh, enthusiasm there. And uh, transportation, yes, uh, almost now we are able to arrange. Uh, but a lot of artists, we are requesting them to have their own transportation and will pay. Um, institute no longer uh, is in the picture when it comes to uh, transportation. Uh, in terms of one other point that uh, Mama mentioned, which is attending concerts. So the only uh, concern that I have currently is there are many, many learners on campus, but unfortunately they do not constitute the Rasikas for concerts. I think Music is one art where Kelvin Yanam is, you know, listening is really very, very important. A lot of it is imbibed through listening. And I feel bad that so many eminent artists come uh, by way of music club and the learners on campus are not encouraged, especially the children should be encouraged by the parents. I've said this at least at a couple of occasions that parents should take the time off, bring their children. They, they may not know this, but once this habit is nurtured, They'll come to the concert and they will also listen to music at home. So that is one thing. Archival, of course, now we have recordings. I don't find anybody objecting at all. In fact, they're very happy. They said, please give us the YouTube link and we'll tag and so on. So today's artists are like that. But overall, I think Music Club is in a different league. The good thing is now we have now a new logo. And um, the, uh, <coughs> if I may say, the the slogan or motto, whatever tagline that goes along with the logo is Nadarnava. And thanks to uh, Sri, uh, RK Sri Ram Kumar who helped us with that. So you must have seen that logo and many of the flyers, even the flyer that has been circulated. And that's one good thing. We have a new banner and everything. But yeah, overall, we, I think we are doing very well in the last uh, uh, you know, decade or more and so on. Professor Kamakoti has uh, taken to a different height after Mama and hopefully no, I'm, we are doing uh, some justice to that in the current era. So thank you for all the anecdotes. So hopefully that puts things in perspective for you now. Yeah. That has come down uh, in the sense, but one thing I should say is we should revise, in fact, I was talking to Srikanth, we should really revise our membership fee. It is still at 100 rupees That's per month. It's not going to help. We'll have to increase that. And that's the next thing that we'll look at in the next financial year. Um, we will have to increase that. I'm sure faculty who are members right now will be happy to do that. And there is more of Hindustani concerts happening, by the way, compared to us. And interestingly, Hindustani concerts has more attendance than the Carnatic uh, concerts. A lot of them come from outside. Okay, so thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, by the way, that is uh, Professor Arun Tangirala. He is the current president of the music club, just in case. Any other questions from the audience? Uh, if not, um, I think I'd like to thank our panelists one more time. Also, want to mention that um, uh, there is an increasing realization that music is part of our campus heritage, and that is uh, one reason why the Heritage Center and the Music Club are now starting to partner in offering various um, programs. And also, we plan to have a, an exhibit in the Heritage Center, in the central dome of um, um, the Music Club. We are hoping to bring a lot of 
old posters and photos and have them available for viewing. So uh, please plan to stop by the Heritage Center sometime, and um, you, you'll be able to catch some of those uh, memorabilia. And thanks to all of you for attending today's panel session. It was, of uh, course, very, very fascinating for all of us. And I, um, I thank the panelists for giving their time freely to assemble and uh, talk to all of you. Thanks again. What a ride. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, we would like to give a small memento uh, on behalf of Heritage Center and Music Club. Uh, I would like especially like to thank Dia Miriam for sketching these within two days. Uh, she has uh, given us a portrait of uh, a sketch portrait of each of the panelists over here. Dia, please stand up. She is a Heritage Center staff, and uh, we would like to uh, present each of them a portrait of themselves. Uh, I request Professor Sriram to hand over the portrait. Okay. Professor Narayanar. Professor Narayanar. We all got this Gopinath. the uh, imitation. Same sketches uh, hand drawn. Uh, uh, Professor Gopinath. Professor T.T. Narendra. Professor Kolar. And the moderator, Professor Nagaraj. Uh, could all of you uh, hold your portraits? And program uh, it was packed and um, he started he was very uncomfortable we could feel that he was uncomfortable in the vakam patra and the vakam you know he looks down here and there he's trying to tune his instrument he said what happened and you know absolutely packed here you know what happens when it's packed uh, after a few minutes uh, he said is there any air conditioner here he said, yeah, there's air conditioner at the back of CLT at the ground basement or ground floor level. He said that was disturbing his shooty. But the more, uh, I don't know, stunning aspect was, we thought he's going to ask us to shut it down. You can't stay in CLT with that. He said, don't worry. Now I know that it is running. I'll remove it from my mind. I'll start the music. We were absolutely stunned. That was the, you know, the class of that artist. And I remember some of these things because, you know, it stays in your mind. He could make out the Shruti thing from the air conditioner. And then Bismillah Khan program we had arranged in OAT. But we knew it could rain, so we had also arranged in CLT just in case. And it was about to start raining. We all shifted. It was all packed. And um, I was a cultural advisor, maybe. So I was just seeing if everybody is fine. Uh, Lakshmi Knight, who knows Lakshmi Knight here? Bala Saraswati's daughter. So a Bhatnatim dancer in stage. Her husband Knight is a Durangam player. And his son, uh, their son Anuruddha, even today is very popular. They didn't have space to sit anywhere. 
they were standing between the wall and the thing. And then Bismillah Khan, he came, a very simple person, completely dedicated to music, all of us know. He, we said there's a lot of too many people outside. He said, hey, usko bulao, andar bulao. He said, where are you going to sit then? You know, the CLT stage and the first row. He said, he said, bahut jaga hai na, bait lo, bitha lo idhar. I said, aapko disturb kare, nahi, nahi, kuch nahi lo. I'll enjoy it. People surrounded him all around, himself and the two side uh, accompanies. He started off. That was another great, uh, you know, spiritual experience. And as usual, you know, wherever Bismillah Khan, they'll ask him to play the Goon Duty Shahinai. Uh, what is that song? You, you know that? Mere Sura Aur Tere Pri. That everybody enjoys, of course. But he left that impression of being a great, not artist, a great human being, very simple person. And we all enjoyed his thing, packed CLT for almost two hours. I just wanted to share that with you. Thank you.